Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and if you're having trouble beating this spotlight challenge right here, then you've come to the right place. Out of all the new spotlight sim challenges, this is probably one of the toughest ones to beat. Not only do you have to beat a very good Spurs team on Hall of Fame difficulty, but you also have to make eight layups with one player. And I've heard that a bunch of you guys are having trouble getting those layups. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest strategy to get all eight layups with one player. And if you're having trouble winning this game, I also got you with some tips on on how to win this game easier. Now before we get things started, I know what you guys are thinking. Duck, you're on next gen. Next gen is so much easier. Fine, fine. Current gen players, this one's for you. I'm gonna show you guys how to beat this challenge on current gen. And if you're a next gen player, this strat might work for you too. But if you don't believe this works on current gen and next gen, we'll do this on next gen too after I do it on current gen. So yeah, you guys know what's going on. I've already done so much talking, so let's go ahead and get things started. So first things first, in this challenge, you're playing versus a very good defensive team. A pretty tall team too. David Robinson, seven foot one. Tim Duncan, six foot 11. The shortest player is Bruce Bowen. He's six foot seven which isn't short, but he is the shortest player on the team. So this is the player that you guys want to attack. With that being said, you want your shortest player to be really tall because then they'll have a height advantage over Bruce Bowen. If I use this lineup, my shortest player is Bill Russell, but most of you guys don't have Bill Russell because most of you guys are stuck on this challenge. So instead of using Bill Russell or Bull Bull or some really good dark matter player, I'm gonna show you guys some super cheap players on the auction house who you could buy right now for less than 10,000 MT who will get the job done and will get you the layups. Player number one, Pokuchevsky. He's going for 5,000 MT on the auction house. He's a pink diamond, seven feet tall, 99 offense, 99 defense, and he has 91 speed. This man right here is one of the best players to shoot these layups with. And if you have like 6,000 MT, you have enough to buy this man's card. Player number two, Lamar Odom. Going for less than 8,000 MT, Lamar Odom is six foot 10. That makes him three inches taller than Bruce Bowen, 23 Hall of Fame badges, and once again, 91 speed. Lamar Odom and and Poku are super fast. They're both tall and combined, you can get both of them for less than 13,000 MT. These are two players I'd recommend you get. Let me show you guys one more player and then I'll show you guys how to get these layups. Last but not least, Boris Diaw also costs less than 10,000. 43 gold badges, 26 Hall of Fame badges, six foot eight. He's the shortest player out of all of them, but still very good. And honestly, if you don't want Boris Diaw, if you don't want Poku, if you don't want Lamar Odom, there are still some other good players that you can use. I just think that if you wanna get easy layups, especially against this great defensive team, having a height advantage definitely helps. So in this challenge right here, I'm gonna make all my layups with Pokuchevsky. I'm not gonna shoot with Bol Bol, I'm not gonna shoot with D Rob. The reason why I'm using these two guys right here are because they're taller than Pokachevsky. You want him to be your shortest player, so you could use the free James Donaldson. He's seven foot two. Artis Gilmore, also seven foot two. Zydronis Ilgauskas, seven foot three. Taco Fall, seven foot five. Kareem, seven foot two. I think you guys get the picture. No matter who you use, you want that guy to be the shortest player on your team. I'm gonna shoot all my layups with Poku, so he's gonna be the shortest player. All right, now let's get into the actual strategy. Let's go ahead and start the actual game. All right, so first things first, give the ball to your shortest player. And that wasn't really the strategy, but we'll take the layup. That's one layup down, but I'll show you guys the real strategy next possession. Not for real though, if you have a chance for a fast break layup, go ahead and take it. But here's the real strategy right here. Give the ball to your shortest player, press left bumper to pull up this menu, press the right trigger, select give and go, give the ball to one of your teammates, the lane's now wide open, easy pass, Easy layup. The tough thing about this challenge is, even if you think a layup's open, sometimes the CPU still contests it. But if you run give and go, you'll get an easy lane to the rim. Sometimes the CPU might steal it, but you guys are gonna see this is pretty consistent. The lane's open once again. Pokachevsky cuts. Another easy layup. Back-to-back -back layups off the give and go. I will go ahead and say, it doesn't work every time. Sometimes the CPU can test the layup, but more often than not, this play works pretty well, going right back to the give and go. And what makes the give and go so good is that the lane gets so open 
and you can make that pass pretty easily. That's the point of the give and go. Whoever you want to shoot with, you give them space, open up the entire lane, they cut to the lane, and hopefully they get open. I'm going to admit, they don't always get open. This is on Hall of Fame, so if they always got open, that would be a little bit too easy. Once again, give and go time, the lane's wide open, I'm holding down Y, making Pokachevsky cut for another layup. Six layups down, two layups to go. I haven't mentioned defense yet. Of course, having three tall guys really helps on defense. You can test shots so easily. Defense on current gen kind of sucks, but you can actually contest shots with the three tall guys. Another drive to the rim, another layup. Seven layups down, one layup to go. Right here, I gotta take advantage. I gotta take advantage of the fast break. I've made every layup, but let's keep calling give and go just for the video. The lane's open. Pokachevsky has him beat. Easy layup. He's seven feet tall, so that's a pretty easy finish. Let's run one more give and go to win the game. The lane's wide open. Pokachevsky cuts. Pokachevsky finishes. There we go. First try. We get the dub. The game was kind of close. A little bit too close. But you guys get the strategy. If you run that give and go, you're going to get some open layups. Let's play that game one more time. And let's do it again, just so I can prove that was not a fluke. Twin Tower Spurs, take number two. We're pretty much gonna do the exact same thing. Easy cut to the rim, easy layup. If you give Pokachevsky space, that give and go is gonna work. Like I said last game, it might not work every time, but it's gonna work a lot of the time. Back to back, easy layups. Give and go, take number three. Give the ball to D-Rob. Another cut to the lane. Oh my gosh, I hate when that happens. Good rebound though. That's one upside of getting blocked. Pokachevsky's seven feet tall, so he could get the offensive rebound. He might not always get it, but he's always gonna have a chance. If the pass isn't there, don't force it, but a lot of the time, the pass is there. I probably should have said that earlier. Don't force the pass too much because you don't want to give Bruce Bowen takeover. I think he has lockdown takeover. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, you don't want to give these guys takeover. Just keep on calling those give and goes, and as long as Poku has space, you can give him the ball, and there we go. It worked versus Tim Duncan too. This game, it's been all give and goes. Last game, I made a couple fast break layups, but this game, nothing but give and goes. Give the ball to Robinson, lanes wide open, easy layup. We're on fire with the give and go. Such a fundamental basketball play being used to perfection in 2021. Who would have thought? Let's get one more layup. That's gonna be eight layups if we make one more right here. And we do. Bull Bull has Bruce Bowen on him, lanes wide open, another easy layup, nothing but give and goes this game. Honestly, once this game's over, I think I'll play one more game, I'll throw a compilation in right here of me getting layups, and yeah, that's gonna be that. The give and go is the key. If you're on next gen though, you can still do the give and go, it still works, but let me show you guys how I got it done on next gen. On next gen, completely opposite strategy. On next gen, I'm shooting layups with my tallest player. I'm shooting layups with Bull Bull because he's being guarded by David Robinson. Like I said, you could do give and go or you could just do this. On current gen, that's not an option. On current gen, the CPU clamps up. On next gen, I'm wide open driving to the rim. That's two layups already. If you have Bull Bull, call the ISO. You can do the same thing with other players too. And you can do the same thing to Bruce Bowen. You can do the same thing to Tim Duncan. For the third time, calling the ISO. Lanes wide open. Three layups already. Like I said, completely opposite strategy. Do I need to show you guys more? I think y'all get the picture. For the culture, I'll do one give and go. Just to prove it works, we'll do one give and go. It works on current gen, it works on next gen, the give and go is the key. And yeah, that's that. We have 7 layups, we're in the lead by 12. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna finish this game. I've already finished all these spotlights, you guys know I can do this. We're gonna get one more layup right here, but I really don't feel like finishing. It's 5.24am, I kinda need some sleep, ah uh, whatever. I need that one token so bad from winning the challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the challenge. I made all 8 layups, so let's just shoot some threes. Here's the cherry on top, and voila! 8 layups on current gen, 8 layups on next gen. Let's get our one token, and let's end this video. I'm getting tired. Yeah, I deserve that token. 
For real though guys, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching. I really hope this video helped you out. Whether you're current gen or next gen, I hope this video was useful. And if this video did help you out, make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I post videos like this one all the time. I've posted tutorials for James Donaldson block shots, David Wesley rebounds, Westbrook triple doubles. I like posting tutorial videos. I love helping people out. So if you guys like 2K content, and if you guys want to know the strategies to get future challenges done easily, you're in the right place. So once again, thank y'all for watching. I'm looking forward to Friday's content or today's content since today's Friday. It better be fire, man. It better be fire. You guys stay chill, stay safe, and I'll see y'all again real soon.